Evening folks, John Graham coming to you again from the church out in Marion. Uh, a little bit snowy tonight, so we thought it would be a good idea to uh, take up the advancement on our D-plane talk. Uh, after the first video I had a couple suggestions and a couple requests on other things that people wanted to see or to see a little more clearly. So this video will have um, a description of what a pull shot looks like, what a push shot looks like, plus a pull fade and a push draw. Um, so once again I have my table here. Um, I have a white piece of tape on the edge of the table to represent the target line. And I'm using a little bigger golf ball this time to help show the tilt on the ball as far as the spin goes. So let's talk about a straight pull. Um, in order for that to happen, The, uh, for any straight shot, either a straight at the target, straight pull, or straight push, the bottom vector and the top vector of the D-plane have to be vertical. They have to be on top of each other. Um, last time I had, you know, this trusty triangle that we used uh, with this line here, base of the triangle representing the club path, the three-dimensional club path and the top edge representing the loft on the club face, the line here representing uh, where the ball actually starts relative to the loft that it had because of energy loss due to friction uh, and elasticity of the ball, things like that. So, you know, I had it right on the target line, just as a little review, club face, ball line, club path, all right on the target line, straight shot. All right, so what has to happen for a straight pull? Uh, basically, a straight pull would be this triangle with the baseline shifted either left for a pull or right for a push. Um, you, know, you can't see it from the camera angle, but I'm trying to keep the face and this path vertically to each other. Uh, I'm sure on the camera it looks like I've got it tilted, uh, but I can tell you that I don't. Um, now once again, the base of this triangle represents a level to the ground hit. There's no down in it or up in it. Um, to make it easy for descriptive purposes. And then a push would simply look, you know, vertical, but off to the right. Both the club path, the club face are vertical to each other. They line up on top of each other. Ball flies straight, but straight right or straight left. Um, you know, if, if this circle represents, you know, as best as I can manage, a level swing direction at the target, and let's say I put this stick here uh, for my pull club path direction, uh, you know, this swing would now look this way. It'd be tangent to this direction. Um, that would be a pull swing path uh, so that you can see it there and then obviously you know one to the right uh, would look something you know this way tilted that way um, so now my flood path would look something you know something like so uh, you can clearly see relative to that tape that this one's going off that way um, so that would be required to have a push. The other half of that has to be, you know, this club face part. Uh, this would have to be, you know, in the same direction as that stick. Uh, won't look that way from the camera, but um, I can tell you they're right on top of each other. So now I would have the path and the face on top of each other. That would be my pull, I'm sorry, my push. And then my pull, of course, would look you know, something, uh, something this way. Uh, again, it won't look like on the camera they line up, but I can tell you they do. Uh, so that would be your straight shots, pulls and pushes, straight shot at the target I already covered. 